Hey guys, welcome back to another video today and the brand new Trading Hub update is finally out. Trading has finally been added to the game and I've done some pretty cool trades and I'll be showing you guys how trading works including there's a balancing system and stuff and I'll be showing you what is accepted, what is not accepted. I'll also be showing you how to get the limited edition spoiler because there's a hidden spoiler at the Trading Hub. So yeah, before we jump right into the video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe because it really helps me out a lot. Anyway, let's go ahead and just jump right into it. So to get to the trading hub, y'all got to go over to here. And yeah, there's going to be a teleporter. So everyone, let's go ahead and teleport. I'm going to get everyone here and I'm going to tell them. All right, let's go ahead. Let's teleport uh, right now. Let's do it. Okay, go. Boom. And you see, you, you, you get, there's like a timer. <laughs> so look at that. And when it reaches zero, it should teleport you. As you can see, trade island expansion right over here. And we get teleported to a uh, trading hub server. And this server can fit up to 50 people. So it's a lot of people. So first of all, let me show you how to get the limited time edition spoiler. It's a sail wing spoiler. And basically you just got to go over here and you got to go outside the trading hub. And there'll be this right over here. And you can just hit E, grab, and you will get it. You'll hear a little ding. You hear that? Yeah, that's that basically tells you you got the spoiler. It's this spoiler right over here, and it's only going to be available for over the weekend. Someone asked over here how long it will be available for, and Bademo says you will have all weekend to grab the limited edition wing. All right, so I'm going to be trading my Airtel for the checker skin, so this person uh, wants to do the deal. And uh, yeah, let's see. Let's see how this goes through. Okay, checker skin, and let's go ahead and put the Airtel. Okay, there it is. The Airtel for the checker skin. I'm willing to do this offer. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, put ready over here. So you actually, they have to hit ready and then you gotta hit accept after uh, five seconds. So there's gonna be like, you know, this system. Now I can hit accept again. And hey, we got it. I got it. Hey, thank you. Yay, I got the checker skin. I've been wanting to get this for a very, very long time. As you see, I don't own a lot of vehicles. I'll show you why later because, you know, I did say I own every single vehicle, but I'll tell you why later. Anyway, uh, let me go ahead and probably just spawn in. Uh, what vehicle should I spawn in, really? I'm going to spawn in the Brulee over here, and I'm going to go ahead and put it on. So I have the checker skin now. Let's go ahead and maybe sort by newest. I think it'll show up. There it is, the checker skin. Hey, I got it. I got the checker skin gamers and also I do have the dual rockets. So uh, one of my friends named Jokes actually has the dual rockets and the thing is he actually wanted to give it to me because he doesn't want it. So I actually did a trade deal with him and here it is. Will that work? Could I just give like many of these? I don't know. Uh, cyber truck. Oh yes you can. Okay you can just give like multiple vehicles. Okay, I'm gonna make sure all these are limited, unlimited. Ambulance? No, it's not. Okay, ready. Let's see. Joey's gonna give me dual rockets. I had this trade out planned since like five months ago. Okay, accept. Oh! <gasps> hey! Trade accepted! Yo! So you might have seen that trade deal right over there. You basically saw how you need to give vehicles. So I basically gave non-limited vehicles so I can get it back. There isn't really a way to give items to people, unfortunately, because, you know, this is supposed to be for trading. And there's that balancing system in there. Anyway, another thing to the trading... Anyway, another thing in the trading hub is you can actually go up here and click on this and you can put what you want. So, for example, I can say, I want, I don't know, you can say pixel. You can just say that. You can put it right there and people can just see it. I also want to go over a few things. There's actually some acronyms you guys should know for trading. So, let me go ahead and show you. So, I pin this over here and that is this right over here. So, first of all, LF means looking for, FT means for trade, LTT means looking to trade, W slash L means win slash lose, A slash D is accept slash decline, and WFL means win, fair, lose. So there's some acronyms you might see for trading. Also, this is my Discord server, and I do have a trading channel. If you want to go here and, you know, try to do a trade, that you can do win slash lose right here, and you can look up commands. So go join if you want. So yeah, if I go to actual jailbreak, as you can see for trading, I will have it and you will have this skin. And of course, uh, the checker skin is pretty rare and I'm actually thankful to the person who gave it to me. Thank you very much for the checker skin. Okay, so I hop back in the trading hub and I wanna show you how the balancing system works. So let me go ahead and trade my alt account because I think it's a little better to do that. All right, so to offer something, you just go over here and you can go ahead and trade. So I do have a stacked vehicle and stacking vehicles means you own more than one of a vehicle or item. And as you can see, I have one jackrabbit and another jackrabbit. I got it on stream. Thanks to this person over here on, on screen right now. Thank you very much for giving me the jackrabbit. Basically, they just wanted to give it to me. So thank you very much. 
very much. The thing is, you can't actually give it to people, so you're going to have to offer them something which the jailbreak system considers fair. So I had to offer them this, which is on screen. I kind of forgot what it was, but as you can see, there it is. Anyway, how this works is basically you put a vehicle down. For example, if I put the, you know, for example, beam hybrid right over here, it will say the trade is too unbalanced because... Uh, my alt account over here is not trading anything. But now my alt account is offering something, and of course the jailbreak system still considers it to be unbalanced. Now here's where I started to disagree with the system, so if nothing pops up right here, it means it's fair. Uh, so you can see over here, beam hybrid, right over here, that's uh, the beam hybrid, and it's, if you guys didn't know, that's the rarest vehicle in jailbreak. And for the Celsius, and if this doesn't show up anything, there's nothing here, it means that it's a good trade. You, you're good to go. You can hit ready if you want it to. On the other end, as you can see over here, if it says this trade might may be unfair for you, that means that you're sort of overpaying. And I completely disagree because I don't think the Celsius is overpaying for the beam hybrid because the beam hybrid is the rarest vehicle. So I think you got to pay a lot more than just the Celsius for the beam hybrid. But uh, if you see this over here, this trade may be unfair for you. That means that the system thinks you're overpaying. Some trade deals that, in my opinion, don't really make that much sense is a Celsius with the Volt Bike. Because you know, the Volt Bike is non limited, it costs a million dollars, and the Celsius is a limited vehicle. So I don't really agree with that. There's also this Beam Hybrid for the Black Hawk. Like, also, if you have this over here, as you can see, this trade is too imbalanced. If you just see this, this would not go through. So if you try to hit accept, it won't work, by the way. But the good news is that Simo says he will make the trade restrictions much less strict so you can trade for what you believe is fair instead of what the system thinks is fair. And I really hope this happens. And by the way, this is what it looks like when you decline a trade. I really hope this happens because a lot of people actually made trade deals before trading came out and now they can't really do it. So Asimo will be making the system or the balancing system less, less strict because uh, right now it is pretty strict. But also some stuff just doesn't really make sense because I think I saw someone trade like the pixel for like the month truck or something and or like a jet and stuff like that I, I i just don't think it's worth like a monster truck or jet right it should definitely worth way more than that and definitely not a lot limited vehicle so there is some stuff that needs to be fixed but luckily a simo is going to be working on it another thing is there's actually been a glitch where you couldn't actually see your inventory if you actually go to the trading hub and you hit this button over here you can actually see your inventory so you can actually see oh look these are all my vehicles that i own all the weapon skins, you know, furniture items, textures, rims, spoilers, tire, horn, and color. So yeah, the rarest color is obviously going to be the gold one. And yeah, this is the inventory, so you can actually see everything you own. So some people had their inventory just show up as blank, and that got people kind of freaked out. However, don't worry, because that is actually a glitch. So Asimus is over here. If your inventory doesn't load, it's because you're an OG player who once owned our original vehicle skins that are based off of hats or based on hats. It was corrupting the load in the trading hub, but your data is safe. Patch coming shortly so you can trade. So these are the OG skins in Jailbreak. And for people who actually played during this time and owned them, and now they're trying to trade, it just won't go through because it's a completely different system. Asimo says over here, we'll migrate trading servers tonight when things calm down. Inventory patch exists, but only in new servers. Working on improvements now to including a less strict trade fairness detector. So that's good. Anyway, I'm pretty happy because I got the stuff I wanted. So I want to show off the stuff that I actually was able to trade for. So let me spawn in the roadster right over here. First of all, you saw that I got the pixel. I mean, not the pixel, the checker skin. And next, I got the dual rockets from Jokes. I also was able to get the lightning skin. I actually didn't own that. Uh, but now jokes gave it to me so over here lightning i actually don't own that but now i have it so i actually got three items from trading if you want to see um yeah i think this is where i got a lightning skin you can show it off right here and also right over here is the trading hub by the way it's a huge place where you can actually there's even a track let me show you so right over here you can actually go back to jailbreak so if you just don't want to be in the trading hub you can actually teleport back to jailbreak uh by the same way you know through the ship over here so you got to go right over there so there's actually a place where you can actually race. So if you actually go right over here, yeah, starting line right over here, you can actually go ahead and uh, race. Of course, I got disqualified, but this is how you race over here. Also, there's no vehicle collisions in the game. So yeah, you, no, don't worry about that. There's some stuff in the game where you can chill and hang out and there's everyone is automatically a criminal. No one's police, but you become prisoner and they just become criminal right away. Anyway, yeah, that's pretty much it for this trading update.
update honestly was pretty solid uh the balancing system needs some fixes but they're fixing it so yeah tell me if you guys got any pretty good trade deals let me know in the chat what do you think also i'll be making a demand list coming pretty shortly maybe in the next few days or maybe even tomorrow i'll have it up so make sure to stay tuned for that and anyway, tell me what you guys think about trading down below if you got any good offers or deals um yeah make sure to let me know down below anyway thank you guys for watching and i'll catch you all next time bye